nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Are you ready? Morning, boys and girls. So we're back again for another session today. But before I start off everything, I just want to wish Aiden, Isabella, Phoebe, Emily, Stephen, Liwa, Dylan, Kayla, and Ivana the biggest happy birthday. I know you guys had your birthdays just a couple of days and a, or a couple of weeks ago, but the biggest happy birthday to you guys. I'm sorry I didn't get to see you guys and tell you straight to you, but I hope you guys had an awesome time and yeah, all the best wishes for you guys for the year ahead. Okay, now we're going to kick off into our warm ups, so we'll see you on that side. Alright boys and girls, so we're going to kick off our warm ups now. The first warm up we are going to be doing is the windmill, which we have done before. We need to spread our legs apart, make sure that you're nice and balanced. We're going to put our arms up, we're going to make arms nice and straight. And what we're going to do is we're going to take our right hand and touch our left foot. And we're going to come back up and we're going to do the other side, left hand, right foot. So we need to do that 10 times. So we're going to have to do a one more practice round. Opposite side, remember to keep your legs straight and your arms straight and touch. Here we go, boys and girls. Ten. You're gonna count with me. One, two, three. Here we go. One. Next one. Two. Next one. Three. Remember to keep your legs straight. Four. Five. Six. Keep going, boys and girls. Seven. Go at your own pace if you want to. Eight. Nine. Last one. And ten. Woo! Can already feel my body getting nice and warm this morning. Alright, so our next one we're going to be moving on to is our mountain climbers, which we did last week again. We're just going to quickly run through them again. Alright boys and girls, so now we're on the ground and we're going to do our mountain climbers. So if you remember from last time, we had to put our hands like this on the ground, and then our legs straight, and what we're going to do is we're going to bring our leg towards our chest. So we're going to lift our legs towards our chest like this. Alright? We need to do 10 this morning. So boys and girls ready to count with me? Remember all these exercises you can do at your own pace. So here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Well done boys and girls. So now comes the easier one which we're going to do. This one is called riding the bicycle, but we don't have a bicycle with us. So this is how we're going to do it. We need to lie on our backs. We're going to hold our handlebars with our hands. And we're going to put our feet on the pedals. And what we're going to do for 20 seconds, we are going to ride our bicycle. And we're going to do the first 10 seconds nice and easy like this. Just holding and pedaling. And then the next one, we're gonna, next 10 seconds, we're going to go as fast as we can, but it'll be a quick 10 seconds. So you boys and girls ready? Here we go. So first 10 seconds, make sure you keep your body flat and your head on the ground. Here we go. One, two, three, four, ride those bicycles, bing, 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 seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, take a little breather. Now the next 10, we're gonna go super fast. We're gonna ride up a hill. So we gotta go really, really fast. Are you boys and girls ready? I'm ready. Here we go, heads on the ground. One, two, three, one, two, three. Ride those bicycles, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Woo, well done boys and girls. All right. That's our warm-ups for the day. It's a nice, beautiful morning today, so we're gonna move on to our next one. All right, boys and girls, so we're gonna do our activities now. And today's all about strength training and making sure we're getting a nice, strong body. Because a strong body means we can do all our fun activities. Jumping, swimming, cricket, soccer, hockey, all those games, netballs, you can imagine it. A strong body allows us to become nice and fit and do the sports as best we can. So we're gonna start off with our first one, which is the planks. Now when I remember when we plank, we plank on our elbows and our hands. So those need to be flat, not with straight arms. And we also need to make sure that our backs are straight. So I'm gonna show you boys and girls how we do it first. This is where mom and dad can help us. We're trying to get our arms on the ground like this. We are not planking like that. That's for a push up. We are planking with our arms flat on the ground. And we're making sure our back is straight over here. It's straight, not with our bums in the air. So we're going to plank 
for, for five seconds, but we're gonna do five seconds three times. Are you boys and girls in your position? I'm ready to go. Mom and Dan, you gonna help us with this one? Here we go, first five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go, thumbs up just a little bit. One, two, three, four, and five. And when we rest, we can rest with our legs on the ground. Take a deep breath. And we'll move on to the next one. All right, boys and girls, here we go. Next one, one, two, three, go. Thumbs up. One, two, three, four, and five. Ooh, we'll take a lower breast. All right, boys and girls, I think for the next one, we can maybe try to do 10 seconds. Do you think you boys and girls can do 10 seconds? I think we can. If you can't do 10 seconds, that's perfectly fine. Do as long as you can. Here we go. Already, one, two, three, up. One, two, three, four, five, six. Keep pushing. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Ooh, well done, boys and girls. All right, so we're going to move on to our next activity. This one is going to be the sit-ups. This is where mom and dad are going to need to help us with this one. They need to hold our feet. So, unfortunately, my mom and dad are not yet. So I'm going to have to do it by myself. But mom and dad can hold our feet down so that we can do our sit-ups. So when we do our sit-ups, we need to make sure our knees are up like this, the boys and girls. We are flat on the ground. And what you can do for me is you can put your hands behind your head, or you can put your hands on the side. And what we need to do for a sit-up is to go all the way up as far as we can and come all the way down. How many are we gonna do today? We need to do 10 for the first one, and then we'll see how we're feeling for the next one. So, we're going to do it at our own time. Okay, boys and girls, I'm going to put my hands here. And this is what we're going to need to do. We're going to need to go all the way up. Try and keep the feet on the ground. We're going to go all the way up. Okay, try not to bend your neck too much. Keep the neck nice and straight. And we're going to use our tummies to get up. All right, boys and girls, here we're going to do 10. But we're going to do five first, take a break, and then five. Here we go. One. Take a little breather, you can relax for me, get your position back, nice and comfortable. Mom and Dad's holding our feet for us. Okay, here we go, the next five. One, whoops, got that one a bit wrong. Two, and here we go. Next one, three, four, one more. And relax. Here we go. First 10 done. We're going to try and do five more. So you're going to try and do 15 in total today. Uh, if you boys and girls can't do it, that's perfectly fine. You can take a break now, maybe grab a sip of water. But if you, if some of you are able, boys and girls, to do it, let's carry on and try and see if we can do another five. All right, so mom and dad, we need you to hold our feet again for us. So here we go. You're going to go lie down. Your hands are going to be here today. And one, two, three, one. Two, three, two more to go, four, and five. Well done boys and girls. Oh, now you need to take a break because those tummies of ours are getting really sore today. And my hair's getting crazy today. It's like, oh yes, I need a haircut I think. Oh, we have to wait for the lockdown to finish first. All right, so the last one we're going to be doing is we need to find a little bit of space and we need to stand up. All right, boys and girls, so to carry on now, we need to make sure that we have something to squat on. So I don't need my mat or my pillow anymore, so I need to move this out of the way. So I'm going to put this to the side and I'm going to get something that's the same height as where I would sit on a chair. So what I'm going to use, I'm going to use a chair for my height. So mom and dad, if you can help us find a chair that is the suitable height for our kids, that will be perfect. If maybe um, anything around the house that they can just, when they squat, they, their bums touch it. Because we need to do quite a few squats today. So I'm going to get my chair. Alright boys and girls, so we're going to do our squats now. 
Now we need to make sure that our bums are touching. So we're gonna make it look like that. So moms and dads, can we just make sure that there is something that they are able to still do the squat and get right back up. Because if they squat too far down, we might not be able to get back up if our legs start getting a little bit tired towards the end. So we need to do 15 today. So we're gonna go with five, five, and then five. So we're gonna have little breaks after every five, just so we can give our legs a chance to start feeling a little, little bit wobbly. So here we go. So we're gonna do the first five. So make sure we keep our arms down in front of us, and we're gonna sit down, little bum touches on the chair. Here we go. One, two, keep going boys and girls. Three, four, Five. Woo. I can feel my legs are working out there, boys and girls. I hope you guys are having fun. It's a little bit hard today, making our bodies nice and strong. Let's keep it up. All right, so we're going to do the next five. Nice balance, feet apart. One, two, three, four. One more for this one. And five. Here we go boys and girls, keep going, good work today. If you want to take a little water break now, you can definitely do so. And we're going to get ready for our next five. Just maybe shake the body out, kick the legs, hands, jump, just relax. Don't let your head get too wobbly in the head. Alright, here we go, last five. And then we're going to have a nice good cool down with a nice simple water. One. Well done boys and girls, the next one. Two. Three, four, last one, and five. Well done boys and girls. Awesome work today. We're going to move on to our cool downs now, so let's grab a sip of water. Alright boys and girls, so now we move down to the ground for our cool downs on our grass, maybe our little mat, or maybe our pillows, so we have something soft underneath. So the first cool down we're going to do today is going to be nice and easy. We're going to stretch our feet right out in front of us. And what we're going to do is we're going to put our hands to the sky. Deep breath in and then let the air out. Relax the body. Make sure that when we stretch, we are making sure that our legs are straight and our back is straight. So we're stretching both our legs and our backs. But we're breathing in. Breathe out and drop the hands and relax the body. All right, boys and girls, we're gonna do that three times and then we're gonna do another one after that. So here we go. So up, breathe in, hold it, breathe out, so relax. Next one, breathe in, hands go up and breathe out. Easy breathing now, next one, breathe in. And up, back straight. Breathe out. Nice, boys and girls. All right, so the next one we're going to do is we're going to turn our bodies all the way to the left as far as we can. We need to keep our, our legs straight. We're going to turn around. One, two, three, four, five. Then we're going to do the other side. One, two, three, four, five. Turn to the side as best you can. Now we're gonna do it one more time for me. We're gonna try and see if we can go a little bit further to the left and then a little further to the right. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Remember to keep your legs straight. Remember, we also need to breathe. One, two, three, four, five. Well done, boys and girls. Can you already feel that we're starting to calm down? Starting to feel a little better. Excuse me, after that crazy, crazy little strength training session today. Alright, so we're gonna do one more stretch today. This one's gonna be nice and easy. What we're gonna do is we're gonna lie on the ground. I am gonna make life a little bit easier so you can see what I'm doing. So we are going to lie on the ground and we worked our legs quite a bit today. So we're gonna pull our leg and put our hands on our knees and we're gonna put it towards our chest. We need to make sure our other leg is flat on the ground and we need to put our hands on our knees, back straight and we're going to pull our leg towards us. We should feel stretch in our bums and a little bit on the top of it. 
All right, boys and girls, so we're gonna be nice and easy. One, two, three, four, five. Put the leg back down, swap the other one. We're gonna pull towards us. One, two, three, four, five. Deep breath in and relax the body. I'm gonna do it one more time. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Relax that leg. Now the other leg. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Deep breath in. And out. Relax the body and enjoy the session today. All right, boys and girls, well done for Thursday's session of Keeping Fit with Raylan. We did strength and, strength and fitness today, so I'm really proud of you guys for working hard today. And I will see you tomorrow for fun and challenging Friday. We need to make sure mom and dad are helping us with this one. So here we go. I'll see you guys tomorrow.